So now we're going to talk about function annotation. You don't really need to always use function annotation, but it's a way to make it easier for somebody to understand your program and know what your program is going to return. Here's a small example. So we created a function here with annotation right beside it. So this function here has an argument that tells you it has to be a string and he has a, an argument that also has a value in it that also is considered a string and it has a value in it. And finally it tells you what is going to return. It's going to return a string. So when somebody is re reading your, your program here, on the first line, they'll be able to tell exactly what the program is going to do so now let's run it. And here you go. You ran the program a few times. We had to correct a few spaces. But here it is, tomahawk and yellow cheese. But this program here essentially tells you all you need in the first line. So these are called function annotations. And hopefully using some of your programs, it makes it much more easier for people to understand what exactly you're doing.